What's up guys, this is Ryan Johnson with MoneyFast.com and today we are going to take a look at my top three lures that I use for live imaging, mega live. First up, let's take a look at the spy bait. When it comes to spy baits, as you've seen in my previous videos, you know I really like the spin bait 80G fix and I have also started looking into the Spinbait 72 Alpha. Gives a little bit bigger of a profile, just something new I'm trying out, but these are definitely something that have brought results for me whenever I have been out on the water. I will put a link in the description to my spy bait setup. Um, I know some of you guys may have already seen it, but if you have not, or even if you have, go ahead and take another look at that. And as always, guys, make sure you take a look in the comments. There is always some good information, guys going back and forth, sharing information in the comments, and definitely some things in there that will help you out. The spy bait. I generally like to use a rod um, that is around 7, I'd say 7, 1 to 7, 6, something that you can get a longer cast with. Um, this one right here is a 13 fishing rod. It is a 7-1 medium fast rom rod. And I use, say, 15 to 20 pound mainline braid. And I will tie that to 8 pound fluorocarbon. I like using 8 pound Seaguar red label line. It is a very strong line, kind of stiff. So it's a little more um, abrasion resistance just in case you ever get pulled down into a brush pile. But basically with this, I like to make a long cast, count that bait down, and um, just pretty much bring it down to just above wherever I see those fish when they're suspended. Or if I'm fishing some type of cover, I like to bring it just above that cover. And on that live imaging, you can see those fish either follow that bait, you can see them hit that bait, and it will give you a good indication of the fish behavior at that moment. And maybe if you need to go ahead and um, try a different lure or pack up and head to the next spot because those fish aren't really that active. All right, so that is the spy bait. Let's go ahead and take a look at some footage, guys. Some bass right below that bait ball right there. So you can cast, watch your bait go down. There we go. They're chasing. They're going into that bait ball. There's three bass right there. All right, let me go ahead and cast and see if I can catch one of those. Mega live fishing at its finest. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this one, guys. Yes. Yes. All right. 
Hey guys, let me get a weight on this. All right, this thing is coming in at four, four, five. I don't know if you guys can see that. Four, four, five. Let's take a look at the next one. With the shaky head, you have a lot of different options as far as what bait you want to use on there. Um, for me, I will stick with a quarter ounce size jig head in most cases. In clear water, I will fish natural colors. And of course, whenever water is stained or a little more murky, I will go to dark, darker colors. And depending on how thick the cover is, I may go drop down to a lighter size jig head so that it, so that it does not get caught up as much. But that is the options for a shaky head. And always remember that the best option is the option that you feel comfortable, comfortable with and that you have more confidence with on the water. All right, so next up, let's take a look at one of my number one baits all around, number one techniques, and that is going to be the shaky head. On this, I have this on a Ducket Black Ice Rod, seven foot two, medium. Um, and pretty much on the uh, setup, I have a Fluger Reel SP30, same thing on that spy bait, spy bait uh, setup. And with this, I use the 15 pound or 20 pound braid mainline once again. And depending on the type of lake that I'm fishing, the water clarity, and the type of fish that I'm going after, I will use a 12 pound fluorocarbon. And I will drop that down to maybe a 10, but in most cases, I do like using that 12 because I like throwing this directly into the structure and the cover that I'm fishing. And with that 12 pound line, it gives me a, a better chance of getting those fish out of there whenever they pull me down into the brush, um, the lay downs or anything like that that I'm fishing. But that is my shaky head setup. But as you can see, there's some fish swimming around right there. Pretty decent sized fish. Um, you can kind of tell by the size of the grids the way the grids are set up but um just wanted to give you guys another look at that mega live Woo. oh this is a nice one Feel that head shaking. And another one. Look at that right there. And another one. And another one. Got to get a weight on this. I know you guys saw me the other day. I was out here, hit my PB 4.45. This one, hmm, I don't think it's gonna quite get it. But hey, look at the stomach on that thing. Turn the Yeah, look at the stomach on this thing right here. A nice, fat, healthy fish, guys. Let's go ahead and get a weight on this one real quick. All right, there we go. That one right there locked in at 376. All right, guys, nice and healthy. Let me go ahead and get back down there, have a little bit more fun before I head in for the day. Make sure you guys hit the like button, guys. I'm out here trying to put in a little work, show you guys a little graphing how you can get better on the water, how I can get better on the water. Hopefully we can keep working together. Just want to say thanks to everybody for supporting the channel, guys. The 
Let's take a look at the next one. All right, last and definitely not least is going to be the jerk bait. With jerk baits, this may bring some of your bigger bites, but of course with this technique, it's gonna take some time on the water and some, some practice to get good at these, but once you do, it can really pay off. So you just have to really take the time, guys, to, to learn the different depths that they cover. This right here is a mega bass, more on the expensive end, um, but from what I hear, it is the top dog when it comes to jerk baits. Um, but I use that. I use a Spro, which is that one. I also use Rick Klun. And I have this one, which is a custom um, painted bait from DBK Lures. But um, again, it's another thing of time on the water to assess what works best for you, the fall, the fall rates, and how deep the depth that they go into the water, guys. Now, on the jerkbait setup, this is a work in progress for me. I'm going through getting... Um, Trying testing out different brands, different uh, water depths, um, using suspense strips and different things like that to kind of get that bait to perform the way that I want it. Um, I will be using that on a spinning rod, and on the spinning rod is going to be pretty much the same setup as far as the reel goes. This one is a, um, I think this is an Abel Garcia reel, but um, whatever reel you feel com comfortable with, I would say go with that. I just like the drag system on those flugers. So as you see, most of my reels, as far as spinning reels, are gonna be fluger reels at the moment. And this rod is a, let's see, this is a 610 medium light fast. So this will allow me to work that jerk bait the way that I um, want to once I get it down to the depth that I want. And using that 610 allows me to work that bait without it coming in contact with the trolling motor or hitting the front of the boat or anything like that. Um, and it also will allow me to get that long cast, the cast that I need at the distance as far as wherever I have that uh, live imaging set, wherever I can see those fish and still stay away from them far enough so that they don't really get a good indication of I'm there. So I'm kind of still in stealth mode. Um, but this, the jerk bait is one of those baits that will allow you to work it at the cadence that you want. You can fish it sus suspending jerk bait. You can have one that slow falls because you can dictate what you want to do with this with the jerk bait and as i mentioned previously as far as um using forward facing sonar live imaging which is garmin live garmin live scope hummingbird mega live and lawrence active target using a jerk bait for me is kind of the equivalent of using a drop shot whenever you're fishing with 2d sonar which allows you to see directly under the boat you can see the fish movement you can see the different depths and the fish behavior, and that drop shot will allow you to fish different depths. Same way with the jerk bait. Even if you get it out there and you need it to stop and just kind of hold in place, if you um, get your setup correct to where you can have that jerk bait sit out there and suspend, sometimes that's what it will take to allow those fish to creep up to that jerk bait, and you can pop it a few times, get their attention, and then you can get a reaction strike from it that way. So the jerk bait. Definitely one of the top choices that I have seen and that I plan on working with as far as um, live imaging goes. All right, guys, I hope this information has helped you out. Please get active down in the comment section. And once again, thank you to everyone that is continuing to support the channel. As you guys have seen, the numbers are growing very fast, and I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you hit the like button on the way in and on the way out. Always leave comments. And if you need to contact me directly, you can hit me at money at official money bass. And I will put the link right here. All right, guys, I will see you guys on the next one.